<laughs> Gosh, I missed you. Is that weird to say to a bike? That's so weird to say to a bike. Good morning from Texas. I am in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and starting my first official rally. So this is the Heart of Texas rally. It's an eight hour rally. There's technically a 36 hour one as well, but that started yesterday. Um, I am excited, a little nervous. I had my whole route planned out. They gave us like all of the GPS coordinates a month in advance, but of course like I waited until the week before and finally created a route. Um, I feel pretty confident in that. I just hope traffic and weather and everything else that I can't control stays at bay for the day. Um, so we leave here at 8.30 in the morning and then we have a set location for uh, 4.30 p.m. tonight. I'm not sure how many people are showing up for the eight hour rally, but I'm excited just to be back on the Pan Am. So for those that don't know, I did the 48 in 10 last year over June, July timeframe. So it's 48 states in 10 days on the brand new Pan America. I actually found a gentleman out in the Dallas area that has the new 2021 version. And I hopped on the bike yesterday after picking it up from the airport and it like instantly felt like home so I'm excited just to be back on the bike I'm excited to be out riding it's gonna be like 70s 80s today <sighs> I'm excited I'm a little nervous but once I get out riding it'll be fine so I'm excited for you guys to follow along today and we will see you out on the road time starts now let's go part of Texas. God, I love it. So I am coming up close to my first pit stop to start claiming my bonuses. I got about five miles. Oh, loving it. I'm kind of settling in. It's taking me a little bit to kind of come down off of that adrenaline a little bit because if not <laughs> I'm gonna be worn out by noon <laughs> but I'm settling in with the bike it's just super easy because I like it's second nature to me like this everything has come right back so it makes it very very easy this first gas station stop is it's like an old abandoned cool looking one so like they get provided pictures of all of the gas stations that you could stop at to start like earning the bonus points and this one by far was like the absolute coolest so I was like yep we're starting with this one <laughs> head to my first uh, racetrack which I can actually the points that I earn at the pit stops I can actually like claim and then when I'm at the racetracks so that one's in Stephensville just about 40 minutes north ish from here so all right i'm gonna pay attention to where i need to go for the bonus and we will see you at the pit stop learned my lesson and just put in i shouldn't trust apple maps because i just put in what i thought was the gps coordinates and it was just literally the heart of glen rose texas which is not where i wanted to be so now i have to backtrack about two miles great and i lost about five minutes of my time but I'm hoping to get to this pit stop very shortly here within like the next. There it is. Oh, yes. That's so freaking cool. Okay, so this is my first pit stop. I need to get a picture with it somehow. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna stay right here. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have to go anywhere else. Rally flag. Alright, I am number 54 for the day. Or for the rally. I'm going to take this out just in case. Close this up. Alright. Alright, go to scoring function. PIG 2. Retrieve photo. There you are. Let's 
do that one instead. You can see my number. There it is. And then once that's all, sequ this is sequence one, submit my bonus. Alright, so I want that one is done. That one is done. Let's copy you. Put you in here so that we've got you. Search directions. Yep. I am in pretty much the heart of Waco. <laughs> about to be. I am about a mile away from the next pit stop I need to be at, which is an old gas station. I hope it's still functioning because I literally have. 14 miles left in my gas tank. Granted, it's like two miles away, but I'm pushing it to the limit this morning just to see how far I can get this gas tank to go. And I overestimated the mileage on this bike, thinking that I was gonna be having like another 30 miles or so, and that's, that's not right. <laughs> Oh man, so yeah, I gotta get to that stop, which is right there, get my bonus checked in and into the app, and keep pushing forward. So right now I'm at 11.40, almost 12 o'clock. I have a little over four hours left, so this is the farthest south I am going on my route, and I am headed back up north to Dallas. And I really haven't seen any other bikes at any of the stops I've been at yet today. That's a cool car. Wow. So definitely somebody that's been in the Iron Boat Rally too. Okay. Perfect timing. Okay, log my bonus and head to uh, another racetrack. The other side of Waco. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, bye. That's so cool. Checking in from Lancaster, Texas, onto one of the pit stop bonuses. So uh, I, <laughs> I think I started at the heart of Texas Speedway for some points, and I think that was it for Waco. But now I'm getting closer into the Dallas area because it's almost 2 o'clock and uh, I don't want to be too far out to have to be back before the ending of the rally. So we're going to try to find this gas station here. Uh, I'm not sure where this is at. Oh, here it is. <laughs> not sure what this guy's doing, but we're going to... Pull up right here. Pit one. Yep, Snow Palace. All right. Get the rally flag out. Close it up. Get the phone. And get the points. I also have the reminders up, so uh, I check them off when I'm finished or when I'm complete with that. So let me pull out the timestamp. I can't read it, and I'm sure they're gonna want to read it. There we go. Okay. Oh, that was really fast. I finally have data. Sweet. Okay, submitted. All right. That's awesome. All right, let's keep moving. I mean, I don't really know. Normally, I put like 10 minute stops, but I should find a place to pee. <laughs> I have not peed all day, and I kind of need to. All right. Let's keep going. God, this is fun. I love this. Am I a weirdo? Does that make me really weird to do this stuff? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you get to go visit really old gas stations and they've got some history to them. And visit places. Oh, did I go the wrong way? Mother fricker. Yes, I did. And I'm just flying through these things, so I don't know. I'll look at it a little bit more in depth when I get there. I see that always at the other 
always at the next stop. Okay, next stop I'll find a place to go to the bathroom. Next stop I'll find a place to go to do this or to do that next. And it's like, mm, no, just kidding. Keep pushing forward. It's only eight hours. You don't need a rest. <laughs> oh man. Either this is gonna be a good thing or a bad thing. And I'm going to come to a complete stop because of that cop. And go. Holy cow. Welcome to Dallas. Alright, so I'm almost to my last stop. And unfortunately, I am like uh, a whole half an hour early. <laughs> Well, not really, because it's 3 o'clock. By the time I get there, do all the paperwork, and then it still takes 15 minutes, I might have like 15 minutes extra saved up. Anyways, I got about seven more minutes, and I'll be at my last racetrack, and I will check in with you guys at the end. Gosh, it went, the day went by quick. So glad I myself 30 minutes because I cannot get to the freaking other side of the hotel because of the freaking triathlon like there is no way to get to this side and I have five, <sighs> 10 minutes and I'm hoping that I can get there okay I feel like this is the route I'm supposed to take Oh my god, I freaking hope so. Nothing like 10 minutes to spare, even though I thought I had 30. I guess I did not. Oh, thank god! Hello. Hello. What is your rider number? 54. And what is your Odo? Uh, 3842. 3813? 42. Oh, 3842. 3842. And what color were you? Blue? Yes. Okay, do you have your rally flag? Yes, it's in my. You're good. Okay. <laughs> so, go down here, find a spot to park wherever you can. Okay. Through this doorway here. All the way to the end is a table with an AMA flag on it. Okay. Garvin will be there to check you in, get you more information at that point. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm in my hotel room. It's kind of a cool looking one. And I just finished, but like I needed, I don't even know, 15 minutes to decompress because I was like on a... <laughs> a whole different level. Whew! My anxiety was through the roof. I literally had about five, ten minutes to spare. Maybe. I was lucky. So I walked through the doors to the table that I was supposed to and I saw Chris Hopper. Um, and uh, he, I had to go into pretty much where the banquet hall is. He had my papers and he said, okay, just look over them. If there's anything that you need like to do or to make sure everything is fine. I look at the bottom number for my points and I was like, that's exactly what I had planned out. And I didn't look at anything else. I was like, okay, am I good? Is there anything else? Am I missing anything else? Like, <laughs> here's my paper, sign it, I'm done. Um, so I, I guess it was nerves uh, or just inexperience, but it was kind of cool that he was there. So I don't know if you know who he is or not, but um, he's done the Iron Butt rallies, but he also last year did 100 days, 100,000 miles on his road glide, I believe. Uh, pretty cool. So it's pretty cool to have him be the person that I was able to connect with for my first rally as well. Um, so I have about three hours before the banquet tonight to kind of catch up with everybody else. I am going to go work out because I need to get my steps in and my workout yet this morning or this morning. Good lord, it's four o'clock. 
I need to just decompress. And I think the best way to do it is to go to the gym and just walk because I haven't been doing that. I've been sitting all day. So that's my plan. I'm gonna go to the banquet, connect with all of the individuals that I haven't actually met in person yet, which I'm super excited about, and just relax for the rest of the evening. So hopefully you enjoyed my first experience with uh, iron, not even iron butt, but just long distance rallying. This, uh, I'm glad I did it. I just wish I would have, a part of me wishes I would have done a 36, but there's not much you can do about it. Even my husband's like, you did it, you completed it. Just take it one step at a time. And for me, I wanna be like three steps ahead already. So it's really hard to just rein it back in um, when I know I could have done more, but I did the route I planned. I got it done within the time frame that I had allotted just barely <laughs> um and i should call that a win so i definitely do for um this first go around so we'll see how well i pan out compared to the others i know there wasn't very many um individuals that did the eight hour there's a lot of individuals that did the 36 so i'm just curious to see how everybody did from that standpoint and then just around points because like i planned it out but I don't know if I did a decent job or a not decent job it's just it's a really hard to figure that out when you don't have anything to compare to so I got 1,554 points in eight hours I'll let you know if that's good or not all right thanks guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one there's a Pan Am that's fantastic looking I like it. I think that's Carrie's bike. <laughs> yep. It's really cool to see all the bikes lined up. Just exactly how they deck them out.